Hey, Jazzy, how you doing? Hi, Uncle Ebony. I was just wondering, will I grow up to be a big, strong, Texas Jumbo Forever guitar pick just like you? It doesn't matter how big you are, son. It matters what you're made of. And inside of you is some of the most exotic woods from across the world. Each exotic wood makes a completely different tone, and no string noise like plastic. We were brought right here to America to be handmade by Luther R.S. Paul. He's an expert in exotic woods. And if you click below right now, you're going to get 25% off of your order. Any other questions, Jazzy? Yeah, why did Aunt Babinga get mad because you gave her crabs on her birthday? Hey y'all, it's Shit Post Friday. Hello everybody, Brad the Guitar just here. It's time for Shit Post Friday. Been a little bit sick lately, and this Shit Post Friday, what I thought I would do is try to squeeze this in with my daily pickup of my daughter from school. So that's what we're gonna do. We're, you're gonna ride along with me to pick up my daughter from school and we'll get some shit post Friday stuff done while I'm waiting in the line, hopefully. So yeah, my time has been a bit limited. I've had quite the cold the last couple of weeks and it's just kind of really messed up my voice. My voice has just been really croaky and uh, I've had a really bad cough, especially when I lay down at night. But it's cleared up enough today, I think uh, I can finally maybe do a little bit of recording and not hack my guts up. So what I thought I might do with you guys when we get settled here, when I finally get parked, is we will uh, we will open some viewer mail while we're in the car today. Okay, so here we are. And what we usually do is just pull up like this on the road and just sit here. And I uh, put my flashers on for emergency. I usually leave those on until somebody uh, comes along to kind of relieve me of the emergency flasher duties. Because what I'm afraid of is somebody coming up behind me and nailing me in the ass. It's not your fault. <laughs> So what I'll probably do is just wait for a second until uh, this clicking stops before we start doing anything here. But yeah, how about this? It's almost like camping out, right? It's Shit Post Friday, outdoors, out amongst the people. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, I feel so exposed, almost agoraphobic in some ways at times. It's I don't suffer fools gladly, that's the problem. And when, when I run up against policies or rules or things that just kind of don't make any goddamn sense. Uh, I have a real tendency to kind of just question those things openly and loudly. Man, this is some bullshit! But yeah, one of the things that really ticks me off, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this, but like this guy, he's hanging out in the road and then I've got people coming up behind me. The, the, the visibility conditions are just really bad. And you've got a road right here where people pull out and they, these cars coming up behind have to go around. And then you've got these people that pull and go that way, and they never look this way first. So you've got, you know, they'll they'll pull out of here without looking. And then you've got these guys like speeding, trying to get around all the cars. So it's like a, it's kind of a danger, really. But then you've got the problem is compounded by the fact that you have more cars out on the road than need to be. There's like gaps up here. I don't know if you can see up there, but way up ahead, there's like cars that wrap around. That car right there, for instance, there's a big gap between that car and the next car, and the guy probably has fallen asleep or something and he doesn't realize. But you could probably squeeze two or three more cars up in there if people would just pay attention. Yeah, they're usually either women drivers, I find, or they're handicapped people. That's redundant! You can be too aggressive as a driver, or you can be not aggressive enough as a driver and when people are not aggressive enough and it's like just go go <laughs> claim the right of way you stupid bastard that, that that pisses me off probably more than anything it's when people don't claim the fucking right of way it's like you clearly got to the stop sign first or don't stop in the middle of the road to let somebody out of a side street you know what i mean it's like claim the right of way and just keep going like you'll have people stop and like endanger people behind them it's like you realize by making that guy's day a little faster, well, first of all, you're not doing that because you're confusing the hell out of him. Uh, so he doesn't know what to do. Okay, we well, finally we've got we've got a flasher behind me, so I can turn this one off. But yeah, he doesn't know what to do. He's confused as hell, and who can blame him? Because, you know, some, some dipshit is letting him go, which I guess is, he thinks he's being nice, but he's really not because he's holding up everybody. But then the people behind him, you know, 
by helping this one guy or trying to, you're holding up everybody behind you. So you're 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 fucking them to help this guy, which just doesn't make any sense. Just go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just go. Step on it, Velma. But anyway, yeah, uh, okay, so now that that flashing is off, let's check out, what, what do we have, Brahms or, I probably shouldn't play that too loudly because uh, I, you actually do get copy strikes for classical music because of the performance, so I probably should just turn that off. I love my classical music. My radio actually stays on classical. You know, I, you've got the NPR crap, and if you go to NPR, it's like... ...pace with which he has pursued the agenda that he's pursuing, uh, that certainly seems to be the case. He's he's doing. A oh, lot here we are. It's the did, it's the takeaway. The they're probably talking about the government shutdown a minute ago. You know, they're propagandizing. It's like, oh, you've got all the, you've got some of these government employees who are taking their own time out of their own schedule and their own day, and they're spending their own money to help these other uh, employees who are hurting. You know, because of the shutdown and this and that, which is just complete bullshit. It hasn't even been going on long enough for surely for the typical Washington bureaucratic person who I'm sure makes a decent living wage to be hurting after just a week or two, you know what I mean? I mean, I know a lot of people live week to week. You know, there's a lot of government employees all over the country too, but they're already already starting that propaganda thing. But that's NPR for you, they'll do that. But everybody will do that. But if you switch over to AM, you've got all the conservatives who are just as crazy, and but in a different way. All of them are Zionists, like all of them. Uh, they all support Israel no matter what and it seems like they would rather live in Israel than the US It's just funny you, you just pick up on every, all of these different people and their biases and what you have to try to do With all of this is make some kind of amalgamation of okay What's actually going on between the story? I listen on NPR and the story I flip over to AM You know I listen to the same story two different places you can kind of get an idea and then what you have to do on top of that is go on to uh, places like YouTube and see what um, some of the uh, news hosts on YouTube are saying and you you know and yeah guys I even go to Infowars from time to time and listen to what some crazy fuckers like Alex Jones are saying because because his pers <laughs> Jesus Christ see what I mean that guy was just blowing his horn because I guess he didn't want that bus to pull out and then you've got this guy coming on, low visibility. There's going to be probably a wreck today. I bet you I capture a wreck. But yeah, what I was saying is, you know, it takes all types. It takes all different types of people to make up this big old goofy world. And uh, if you don't listen to a little bit of all of them, turn your fucking lights on. Turn your lights on, idiot. It's raining. See what I mean? It's people like that. You're going to cause an accident because you don't have your fucking lights on. But yeah, it takes all different kinds of people. And, uh, you know, somebody like Alex Jones, as crazy as he is, the guy is right twice a day, you know, like a broken clock. So it's, you know, there are certain instances in history when, you know, somebody who heretofore has been a lunatic or regarded as one is actually, you know, has the right idea on some things. So, uh, that's why I'm against, you know, scrubbing people's ideologies, scrubbing people from the internet. There's just no way to behave. Uh, all of these uh, platforms, you know, Facebook banning people or YouTube banning people or uh, Twitter or what, whatever, or even worse, PayPal or Patreon. I mean, once you get to that point and you get into the money side, then what's next? Uh, because... You get into the whole mark of the beast, you have to have a fucking, you know, some kind of microchip or something. You know, or like the social, the whole social score thing they're doing in China. You know, you have to be approved by the state. All your ideas and all your activities and everything you do has to be approved by some bureaucrat or agency or even corporation in order to even do uh, commerce, which is really dangerous. And the thing is, you know, if it, if it actually got to the level of like Visa or MasterCard... Because they're companies too, think about it. All of the card companies are companies, and everything is so card based now that you know you couldn't you couldn't really conceivably conduct business in a lot of ways in the modern world without those cards or those card companies. See, well again, turn on your lights, dumbass. Turn on your lights. Just rolling through there. Doesn't even slow down with his lights on and you got a whole line of cars behind us. People are just fucking stupid. I don't get it. See, at least this guy's this guy's smart. You got your lights on. 
but yeah, you know what I'm that, that's kind of what I'm getting at. It takes all types of people. You know, you don't have to hate on somebody just because you don't agree with uh, every single thing they they think or they say. Uh, you also you don't have to watch their content or anything like that either. If you don't like five percent of what they say, yeah, you have every right to boycott or vote with your feet. But uh, you're you're the one who loses. You are not them because you are denying yourself the benefit of having uh, their viewpoint to either take on board or to uh, ridicule or to eschew or whatever you want to do with that information. It is, in fact, additional information that you're denying yourself. So if you're denying yourself additional information, that's just, that's just stupid on your part, right? But anyway, um, I wanted to get to some stuff here. Let's look at some some viewer mail. This is from M. Pierce. Another guy. I'm going to flash my lights at this guy. See, I'm a good driver because I actually, I care, I give a damn. Turn on your fucking lights, you idiot. And then you got this guy turning out. This is just a really um, dangerous spot, especially in low visibility. This little dog. <laughs> Look at the little dude. What a cute dog. Anyway, he's got his little raincoat on. I've included two different clutch bits to open Ampeg amps. Cool. Enjoy and happy new year, Marty. Yeah, Marty, I remember you contacted me, man. Thank you so much. And the clutch bits he's talking about, if you guys didn't see the Ampeg series that I just did, it's uh, it's that weird kind of double D shaped uh, bit. Yep, right there. So cool. These are, I guess this is one of each uh, of two different sizes. So yeah, thank you, Marty. I appreciate that, man. From now on, I'll be able to open uh, Ampeg amplifiers. This next one is from Kevin Phelan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please find and close music and video from a great band from Austin back in the day. Too smooth. Yes, it's on CD. The reason there's no vinyl is because it took many years for fans of the band to recover as much material as they did. So this is probably some kind of uh, rarity, really. Okay, so the band never made it big, but I guess they're locally known. So cool. He's, he's included all that on a jump drive, so that's cool. Um, and then a CD as well, so a two-disc CD. Oh, I like that artwork. It's pretty cool. Awesome. So yeah, I will definitely enjoy that. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. Okay, this one is actually, I grabbed this one by mistake. This one is actually a repair, but it's in a smaller box. And I'm not really 100% sure what that's going to be, but I guess that's going to be something for me to repair later. Okay, we got, we got this big package. Oh yeah, this is an Amazon package. Somebody has bought something on Amazon. So Okay, so inside the package we got a box. And we've got... Um, I think these are wire strippers. Yeah, he's, he sent me some wire strippers. There was a fellow the other day, I think he saw me kind of struggling with my wire strippers or something. And he wanted to send me these because he thought the ones I had were crappy ones. Actually, the ones that I have are, are pretty nice wire strippers, and I do like them quite a lot. But these are nice as well. Let's see, these are uh, CHP Handmade Tools. Made in Italy. Wow. Wow very smooth very smooth let's see what they let's see what they go down to they go down to they go down to 20 gauge so those are good they've got this little lock that'll prevent them from springing open on you there's no name on the packing uh, but I think it was norm so norm you know who you are thank you man oh wow there's a couple of them for real I sent two pair that's pretty cool I have like a house calls box like some every now and then I'll, I'll get called to somebody's band space or something so I'll go check out an amp somewhere else and it's nice to have a box full of tools so I'll probably put one of these in my house calls uh, toolbox and leave the other one on my main toolbox but what, let's see what we have here Man, that's some strong tape okay let's see what is that what are those are this is this a helping hand that screws to your desk. I think it is. I think that's exactly what this is. This is like a mountable helping hand. So it's a pair of arms, and those arms right there, those will, those have got gator clips, and they'll screw into this base. 
and the base can attach to, I guess, whatever you want it to attach to. Screw it into your desk or what have you. So that's cool. That's awesome, actually. Thank you very much. Look at this. Let me see. The bus just in the row with his lights on. All right, wait, what's this? Okay, this is from, I think this is also, he said he was sending multiple packets. So I think this is also from Norm. Oh, wow, dude. These are nice Hacko co uh, cutters, wire cutters. Yeah, those are nice. I do like those quite a bit because they're ang the thing is they're angled and they are designed specifically for you know getting inside of chassis and clipping things off. And then let's see that's a uh, okay, got a crimp tool. Okay, this is for crimping like um, all of your you know your terminal ends and things like that. So that's cool. And then what does he send me here? This is a Stanley. This is a pair of bigger cutters. Uh, okay, yeah, that's another pair of Stanley cutters right there. So that's really awesome, man. Thank you so much, Norm. I really, man, definitely appreciate that. That's much set. This must have set you back a pretty penny, and that fact does not go unnoticed by me. I do have one more large box, and it seems pretty heavy, and it seems like it might have several things in it, and I've kind of run out of time here. So she gets out right now. So uh, yeah. So that's it for this segment. I think I'm gonna probably open this box at home so we'll see you at the house how was your day sweetie it was good it was good that's good yeah did you get lots of state propaganda instilled into your tiny eggshell mind all right so we're back at the house and before we open this last package i wanted to show you something kind of funny uh my wife She's only in her late 30s, but she's gotten on some kind of mailing list that, that thinks that she's a really old lady. And she gets these uh, magazines and she gets like uh, life insurance policy, you know, proposals all the time. And she's always getting like uh, AARP membership <laughs> pamphlets or whatever in the mail. Um, but this one was especially funny because, you know, this is like something that you know, the middle-aged to old lady would get, you know, as like a uh, gift catalog or whatever. But yeah, check this out. This is like all of the suspect accoutrements of the aged uh, on display here. Uh, you can, you know, get your new reading glasses. You can get covers for your couch. You can get your one-size-fits-all as seen on TV pants, curtains, rugs, you name it. Here's a great one, your hair cutting umbrella. Everybody needs one of those. Your emergency escape hammer in case your automobile runs off a ravine <laughs> into a lake. <laughs> Quilted slippers, bras. You can get your knee supports for your achy joints. Lose your belly fat. Earwax removal as seen on TV. Polka dot shower cap. Sanitary douche. Waterproof pants. Mole remover, nail clippers, the I can't bend over anymore and pick that thing up machine, hearing aids, sleep aids, full blown aids, you name it, everything the aging lady needs. And then you get to this page. I don't know what they think Granny's doing in her spare time, but uh, oh man, they're still selling porn on DVDs to old people. And then the next page, it's right back. It's just right back to it. Here's your arthritis clubs. <laughs> your steam inhaler. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. It's like just this one page of what the fuck in the middle of this magazine. So discreet. But anyway, on to this final box. This is from Larry Fisher of Great Bend, Kansas. It says, hi, Brad. I'm a subscriber. Found this in an old fridge on a porch on a rental 20 years ago. Had it in my garage and forgot about it, saw it a while back and thought of you. I opened this one up and found about an eighth of an inch of rust on the bottom, assuming it got rained in at some point. And he has a question. Do you collect old vintage microphones? Very desirable and some are very ornate. I used to have a really cool Turner microphone that was just really awesome Art Deco looking thing. And I sold it. Um, that was just... If I has had it now, I might just keep it around just for decorative purposes and put it in the background of the videos or something. But at the time, it was just I was buying and selling left and right. So 
Uh, so I don't really collect them, but I do appreciate them. Also, have you ever built any homemade instruments, cig uh, cigar boxes, etc.? Uh, yes, I have. I've got some videos on the subject. I will post some links down in the description if you want to check those out or up in a card up, up here on the corner of the screen. And you're saying, P.S., the schematic is dated 1955 on this thing. Well, let's check it out. What has he sent us? Sucker's heavy. Handle's gone. And he said there's some rust in the bottom. Okay. He said the schematic came out of the bottom. That's a shame because I'm going to have to restore this and it would have been nice to have that, but I might be able to salvage that. I'll set it aside for a minute. But this is a Jackson brand tube tester. Model 49 Customatic. Test your octal tubes, it tests your nine pinners, it tests your seven pinners, and it tests your loctals. So most of most of the uh, usual suspects it will test, and then it's got the it's got the wire for the the cap on some tubes. This is the kind that uses the scroll, and if this thing has been wet, the scroll may have been wet. And if the scroll is damaged, that could that could pose a problem. Let's see. Jackson Electrical Instrument Company, Dayton, Ohio, USA. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Very cool, Larry. Thank you very much for sending this along. I will definitely pop this open at some point and see if we can't, uh, yeah, see if we can't make this thing work. Should be a cool restoration video at some at some point. Right now, I'm pretty swamped with other people's stuff, and I can't get to any of my own stuff. And that's another thing. A lot of you guys ask me uh, quite often. Um, you know, if I can take in various things, and uh, th the truth of the matter is I cannot. I mean, right now, I'm just so swamped. It's just been difficult for me to get everything done I needed to get done lately. My wife uh, is doing her master's degree, so she's working on her master's thesis right now. And, um, yeah, I just can't get anything done because I'm constantly watching the kids so she can work on her thesis, and it's just a bad time. So if you guys, if one of you guys uh, have stuff with me and you're waiting for me to work on it and you're waiting for your videos to come out or whatever the, on the stuff that you've sent me just be patient with me uh, I am getting to it albeit slowly but right now I've, I've stopped taking stuff in uh, so you know no new outside repairs for the foreseeable future probably for the rest of this year uh, because what I want to do for 2019 is I want to finish out the stuff that I have promised to do for customers and then after that I'm probably going to move along to uh, doing a lot of my own projects that I ha have, you know, kind of wasting away around here. And that will also allow me to, to be a little bit more selective about the things that I choose to do instead of just going straight down the line, you know, as it comes. This way I can kind of select cool things um, that I think will make good videos rather than, you know, just, just doing whatever I have to do. So... So yeah, look forward to that. You know, at some stage in the year, I'll switch gears and get into more of my own stuff, and uh, we'll have a little bit more fun around here. Maybe restoring stuff like this again too. So, anyway, so yeah, that's 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 that, and that's cool. Thank you very much, Larry. All right, guys, that'll do it for this ship post Friday. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit of an unusual one. As always, throughout the weekend, I might try to put more Ship Post Fridays material up on Channel Two. So definitely subscribe to my second channel, Guitologist Channel Two. But for now. Y'all take care.